how to install Mi Room custom ROM based on Mi UI 11 and Android 10 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Mi Room custom ROM based on MIUI 11 and Android 10 on the POCO F1. As you can see, I do have the Xiaomi POCO F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 9.0 Pi. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Twerp Recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if we run into any boot loops, we will have to do a format data from to a recovery. In which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. A fair piece of warning about the ROM, the ROM is pre-rooted which means you will get Magisk Manager out of the box and if you don't get Magisk Manager out of the box then all you need to do is install Magisk Manager APK, link for that also can be found in the description of the video. Next thing we do not and I repeat we do not have to flash disable force encryption because it is automatically disabled when you install the ROM. First thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then we'll go into password and security and remove our password, fingerprint unlock and any face unlock which you have set up. Then we will go back, go into me account and remove our me account as well. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account as well. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. This is to double check and to ensure that all the accounts have been removed successfully why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another rom and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device what are the files which we need all the files which we need to install me room custom rom are linked in the description of the video and these are the files which you need so you need google play store apk google play services apk and the me room custom rom zip file for the xiaomi poco f1 which contains your firmware, your vendor, your system, and your kernel. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot into Twerp Recovery. For that, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device. And once we've turned our device off, we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we are in Twerp Recovery, we'll go into Wipe, Advanced Wipe, and select Talvik Cache System and Data, and then Swipe to Wipe. Once swipe to wipe is done, we'll go on the home button, go into install, and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I've created a separate folder called me room. So we'll go inside this folder and there is only one zip file which we need to select and flash, which is me room zip file, select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once the Mi Room zip file has installed successfully, click on the home button. And now all you need to do is click on reboot and select system. However, if you run into any boot loops, then you'll have to boot back into Twerp Recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Then you will go into wipe, format data, type in yes, and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard. For now, we're going to skip that step. However, do remember that a format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So as I mentioned earlier, make sure you have a backup of all those things before you do a format data. For now, we'll go into reboot and select system. And bam, there it is. We have the Mi Room custom ROM boot animation on the POCO F1, which means our device is booting into Mi Room. The first boot up will take some time. So you have to be patient and there it is we have booted into me room which is based on me ui 11 and 
Android 10. Let me skip the initial setup real quick. And you do have the option of choosing between four different themes. So you have Rhodium, Classic, MIUI 10, and Limitless. We'll just keep whatever is selected by default. Click on Next. Click on the arrow button for the setup to complete. And now if we go into Settings, About Phone, all the specs, bam, there it is. Mi Room, the version is 9.12.12, based on Mi UI 11 and Android 10, running like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. The next thing we need to do is we'll go into File Manager, click on Agree for the permissions, swipe, go into More, and select APKs, and select the two APKs which we need to install. The first APK which we're going to install is the Google Play Services. On this pop up screen, select the first option and then click on install. Click on install one more time. Once Google Play Services has installed successfully, we can go back and next APK which we need to install is the Google Play Store. And once Google Play Store has finished installing, the next thing we need to do is reboot our device so that the changes kick in. And once you've rebooted your Poco F1, you can log into the Google account on Mi Room and then install your applications and whatever setups you want to do. Back into Android, we can unlock the device. Another thing I would like to check is we can go into gallery and I still have a few pictures which I had taken on Mi UI 11.0.5.0 for the Poco F1. So my data is still intact and my device was also not encrypted. So if I go back into settings and then I can go into password and security and then into privacy you will see that encryption and credentials phone is not encrypted which means the inbuilt disable force encryption for me room worked perfectly fine so there it is peeps that is how you install me room based on me ui 11 and android 10 on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.